Greetings there, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 11 of Winner's Way Station, which originally streamed live on Twitch. We're also going to want water treatment to keep the water clean so that there is no sickness uh, risk with it. So let me do that first. Is and, and this doesn't have to be in sequence or anything. Um... I actually take it back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to design a water treatment facility. Treatment and heating facility. So I'm going to do that uh, properly in a minute. Oh, and it got a little cold and all of my hay grass is going poof. Oh, well. So the walls are almost done. I think what I'm going to do is just forbid the piping until the walls are finished. So that we are protected. So we should pop prop this door open so it's a point of entrance. And one of the advantages of having this be the kill box is we can easily throw the bodies in the marsh and get rid of it. So we're so close. Pets are going to need uh, food soon. I might actually just give them simple meals so that I just stop forgetting to treat them. So I'm going to switch this over to nutrient paste and simple and just feed them the simple meals. I think it's just going to be easier on me. It's obviously less efficient, but it's just easier and easier matters as much as efficiency. All right, so these I can turn on and turn off because they're hooked up to remote power. Winner is cleaning up the kill box area. Let me prop the door open. And then... Looks to me like I am out of, um, I am temporarily out of granite, which is why we haven't finished these walls. So I'm going to have Plex start stone cutting so that we can get that granite. How realistic is the mod? Not very. Um, your pipes can share hot water, cold water, and sewage all in one pipe. So it's... It's certainly imperfect, but it's obviously way more than RimWorld has. So as imperfect as it is, it's better than default. And if you don't like it, you can always uninstall it or make one for yourself. Improve it your own, your, you know, on your own. Most mods are open source and are free to do just that. So here's a bunch of extra wood. And now we have a nice protected little area here. Obviously the, the chunks will want to be hauled away so they can't be used as cover. This is pretty handy. Now until we uh, cement this over, and I don't think this is going to be a permanent kill box, but obviously it's, uh, it's just going to continually regrow trees that's something I'm going to have to, um, you know, something I'm going to have to tend to often, I suspect. But it's certainly more protective than what we have now. All right, these bedrooms are obviously horribly cold. I'll be fixing that soon with radiators. And a combat supplier coming in. I predict that your animals are going to get stuck. Oh, Stragel has spread. They're creating a new outpost, a new settlement near us. Not a fan. Definitely not a fan. But it's, uh, it's becoming Christmas soon. Will be our first Christmas with actual Christmas trees, which should be pretty cool. It's odd that they are willing to buy biocoded stuff, but I'm not going to question it. I really don't have anything to, for them to buy, though. So. Dismiss and watch their buffalo not leave. Yeah, once they walk out, I'll, I'll delete the muffler. So how are we doing? 
Yep, that's the last. So now let's unforbid the pipes and I'll show you how hygiene pipes work. So we are entirely enclosed. Let me kill the raccoon because it's trespassing now. And lay out the pipe network. So you don't need to have a sort of water treatment facility like I'm going to be designing. But it doesn't hurt to sort of centralize it all. So I am going to build a wall here and stick a door there and put the water treatment uh, behind that door, essentially. So that I have my water tower and my heaters and everything um, sort of protected and isolated. I could make the kill box a uh, grow zone with cut only. Yeah. And that way, anything that's in there gets cut. But it, it really only cuts when it's like full grown for a full harvest. So it only really works when a tree is fully grown. So it's it's not a very good solution. But it's better than nothing. In case I forget for like years. So in here, uh, to mimic this sort of industrial water treatment facility look, I'm going to do concrete instead of a wood floor. And then I'll roof it up eventually. In fact, all of this will be roofed up because this is all going to be inside. Oh, I meant concrete, but I guess they did paved. Doesn't matter. We have enough uh, resources. So <clears throat> first things first, we'll do water treatment so that we can drink it. So it's portable and then a steel tower to store it. And there isn't um, any water treatment plant anywhere within the pipe network will make the water potable. So it doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't matter the order. There's no sequence. It it uh, automatically filters everything inside the pipes with bad hygiene magic. So, you know, it's, yeah, it doesn't work kind of the way you might think. All right, these muffalo are obviously stuck. This mod is failing me deeply. In the future, I might have just a dedicated trader spot where I don't need to dismiss them. I just don't want them hanging out uh, in my grung zone, eating my stuff or whatever. So I could put the care and trade spot in the corner there and maybe it won't be such a problem. So we'll have water treatment and a steel water tower. And then the other thing we we're going to want is a hot water tank to supply hot water to the network so that we can take hot showers and not cold showers because cold showers have um, mood penalties. And then we're also going to want a thermostat <clears throat> and a electric water heater. And I don't believe I have that stuff researched, or do I? I think I have it researched. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's in temperature. So the hot water tank we'll put here and then go to temperature and do an electric boiler. Uh, so you can heat your water different ways. You can heat it with logs. You can heat it with gas, which is um, chem fuel. You can heat it with electricity, or you can heat it with solar. Because we live so far north, uh, solar is not a very good option because the sun doesn't shine enough. So I'm just going to do electric. And then we want a little thermostat connected to this network, too, to control the temperature of the hot water. I don't have a sauna built yet, no. I'm just working on basic plumbing so far. So here's the water tower. So the water tower just stores water to be used. And you can see it's starting to fill up, but it's untreated, so it has a small disease risk. And the disease risk will go away once the water treatment's set up. The other thing to consider is I'm adding a lot of um, things that use power. So I'm going to probably want to introduce additional... Um, Uh, additional water mill generators 
And the problem is there's not a lot of good spots for that. Because, yeah, because they overlap. So I could put one... I thought it turned... Oh, yeah. Put one there. I guess is my only good spot. I have a spot here, but it's really close to that door. So I'm going to leave that last if I can help it. Let's get another water mill Jenny. So here's my electric boiler, and my electric boiler has different power modes. So increasing the power increases the amount of hot water available, but it costs more uh, wattage. And then here is my hot water tank, which has a capacity and demand. So um, you can control, you know, how much um, how much water that you're using, how much water that you need. So with this setup, um, it would be good for me to start investing in hot water stuff, like showers and bathrooms and the like. So that's uh, something to be done soon. But I want to get the water treatment first. So now with this water treatment, all the, all the water in the water tower will soon be treated once the water treatment catches up. Yep, and now it's treated and it's safe. So all the water in the water steel tower is safe, and that means it's uh, drinkable. So we don't need to drive off wells anymore. So some of the things that we can do with this is to have water fountains, uh, where we can drink water without having to go to a well, uh, water basins for hygiene and toilets, uh, kitchen sinks to increase the sterile values of our kitchens. There's a lot of uses for water, and, and plus proper toilets and the like. Um, so this is all I'm going to do for now. I'm not adding to this water setup because I am going to be polling all you as to what my next uh, priorities are instead. So what is my next focus? Um, we could have individual bathrooms in the bedrooms. So what that would look like is up here, these all would everybody would have their own in uh, their own bathroom um, I could also have a two restrooms for colonists and guests so that would be a little cheaper I would just have a shared restroom for colonists and guests I could also work on uh, proper barn facilities that's something that we've long, long neglected <clears throat> I could also try to build the complete hothouse. So we have all of this farm zone, but I'm not really using this all just yet. So that's another goal. Um, or viewer submitted idea. So you pick. That's a that's a big focus up there. So go ahead and vote on that focus and let me know what you think I should do first or next. So I think uh, I am going to probably want the additional the additional uh, water mill generation here. So I'm going to, even though I just finished this wall, bump this wall out a little bit, which makes me cringe because it's a lot of bridging, which sucks. We'll bump this out so that I, I can tap more water. It hurts. It, it, it hurts me physically to do this because this was so much effort. But uh, we'll redo it so that I can draw a little bit more water power out of this. But there's another water mill generator. Yeah, I, I'd very much. I like having a bunch of like water generation as as the as the base expands. Plex, you again? Oh man, I really need to convert you ASAP. Uh, one of the things I might be able to do is to counsel you. Let's, uh, I'm gonna have Starling do that because you are a walking... Oh, you are not a Santanist. Never mind, I can't even do that for you. You believe in raiding. You're... Very misguided. So there's a lot of advantages to all this um, 
Water stuff, one of the advantages is that we can heat with the hot water, which is more efficient than using electric heaters. So we'll set up uh, radiators here to heat our research room, and then I can, I can slowly um, add heating for all the things that should get heat like that. Uh, seeing how this poll is going, I'm going to do a runoff here between the top two options. So I'm going to reset the timer. So individual ba bathrooms in the bedrooms or shared bathrooms. You guys can, can vote on that. Another thing that I could do here is to have a septic tank system. So I'm going to set up a septic leach field down here in order to help with the amount of uh, sludge that I have. So, all of your sewer waste is in the same... Think of the wood plumbing as like having multiple pipes in it, like conduit, and we'll set up a, a septic tank, and the septic tank will be able to handle our toilets, sewer, sewage, rather than, um, you know, automatically. It will be a lot better. A prepare a while. And they all seem to be brawlers. Where's the other groups? Brawl and brawl. Okay. Well, just because they're preparing a while doesn't mean I don't I want to. So let's uh set on out to hit them. possible that I can pick up a recruit here. Let's see, wasp. No, not wasp. Um, right, let's get over to the next raid. If if there's time, I'm going to come back and um, heal wasp, but I'm not going to go out of my way right now to do it. Poppy treats and a posture check. Well, here's the posture check. And this poll is going to be winner take all unless it's tied and I'll flip a coin. If we do, um, if we do restrooms for, like, group restrooms, there's always always the possibility of adding in individual ones later on. It's, it's not, it doesn't mean that we'll never have individual restrooms, just for now. Hydrate as well. You got it. Now, let me pause a second. I have a, uh, one of those ember mugs to keep my coffee warm, and it makes coffee sludge at the top. All right, we're going with a we're going to go with the flip of a coin. So heads is individual, and tails is group, and it's heads. Well, actually, I didn't. Normally, I go with flip on the hand like that, and I didn't this time, which would have changed the outcome. So let me let me flip again and do it properly. How I always flip, like that, and it's tails this time. We'll do two out of three because I feel. I feel like I've influenced it, so now this is the sort of winner take all. And again, uh, let me try to show you. It is, oh no, that's heads. So individual bedrooms it is, or bathrooms rather. Three out of five. Five out of seven. Seven out of 10. All right, let's fall back a little bit, split up so they can't chase all of us. They're not even chasing me anymore. Do you not know how raiding works, guys? Uh, Plex. Let's grab that auto pistol. If you're really inaccurate, you might as well be firing as fast as possible. Alright, so this group is fleeing. Ooh, I didn't realize they had uh, meds on them. And then the last group is down south. I'm going to undraft everybody. <clears throat> so if we're doing individual bathrooms, uh, let me go and just jump to the larger bedroom types here to accommodate because there's a lot of things that you can put into a bathroom in for uh, Dub's Bad Hygiene. So we're going to want space for it.
And then for the rooms that are not yet done, I'll just break them down because they're going to be laid out differently. I know that I have more raiders here, which is weird that the music went away, but I just don't want to run all the way down there. They can come to me. Also, uh, sorry, wasp, that uh, I didn't really do anything until you died. Well, actually, we can, uh, yeah, let's, let's just use our automatic defenses. Because that's what they're here for. I probably shouldn't keep the door open all the time. An underground pyromaniac. Oh, good for you. Uh, I'm going to capture to release. I'll just put you in the water room because that's close and relatively secure. Where is this? What exit do you guys want? Get out of my walls. Okay, and that makes two. These guys are not one of the evil spirits of Christmas, so I will be catching and releasing unless I want to recruit them. So I'll I'll take a look at uh, their value once they're in. And yeah, I saw that I have to break down the snowman because it's in the way. Uh, Omega, do you, Doctor? You do. So do your best. So we have Gerbil here, Underbergrinder, Pyromanic, and Volatile Optimist. Uh, yeah, no, not keeping either. So, prisoner release. Alright, updating the current priority. Build bathrooms for each bedroom. It's a tall order, but I like it. Prisoners almost died. Is it worth uh, converting them? No, we um, we do believe in proselytism, but not like forced proselytism. It's the same reason why we haven't imprisoned Plex or Kellyan. We'll share kind words, but we're not going to force it unless they are to be recruited, I think is makes a lot more sense. But I don't know. How about you decide? Should we convert... First, before release. I can leave it up to you. Obviously, the benefit is only in roleplay, but totally cool with that. That's what you want. Starling, what's going on with you? Wreck deprived. Well, you're set to anything, so, like, just relax. So I think what I'll do is I'll prototype one of these bedrooms for having its own bathroom, and then I'll roll those that prototype design out to all of them. So they'll all be, you know, the same. So I'm hauling the sludge out. Soon we're not going to have sludge, which is probably a good thing. Having to deal with all the sludge kind of sucks. Plus, this sludge has been composted for a long time, but nobody's really running the composters. And we've already released them, but you guys obviously don't want that. So we're not going to convert them first. They stay and then they go. So we're, uh, we're very close to being done adding the space for the additional... Hi, Elk. Uh, the additional water generator here, water mill generator. And Mike, of course, is working in his own bedroom first. Isn't that convenient, Mike?
All right, Winter's making some additional wood. We uh, we got through our wood pretty quick, so I'm going to allow cutting over here again. Kerber, can you just leave? Come on, you're, you're not that wounded. Let's get up and go. Uh, blocked drain. What? No, I want you to empty it. Clear the blockage. Got a plummet. Someone, uh, someone dropped a little bomb in that, uh, I guess. Animal food again? Uh, they have simple meals. They're okay. I'm not really using the, um, the nutrient paste anymore, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. It was a nice idea, but not all that useful. And Plex wants to smash things in her bedroom. Oh boy, Plex, you are just such a gem. And to think that uh, we hosted foxes for like half a year for you to join us, and all you've done while you've been here is clean the floors a little bit and smash things. Like you do. A tribal device. Uh, so this is a worshipful village worshipping info about the Rudolph. So, sure, I'll accept it. The trick here is, uh, we don't really believe in killing tribals to find the relic, so I'm gonna have to think about our best approach. Probably means we're gonna need jetpacks or something. And another meteor shower. Of plasteel, silver, silver, slate, silver, a lot of silver. Dang. Storyteller wants me wealthy. Very, very wealthy. All right. The prototype bedrooms are coming together. So the concept here is this. We are going to put a a sink basin and a toilet and probably a shower, not a bath mat. Not a bathtub. Maybe we'll have um, bathing facilities that are not part of the bedroom, but that's um, it's a little expensive to do. Oh, Purta Pirates landing on my head right here. Hey, Nightbot, you are not attack guard. Oh, uh, but you are, I, you're zonable. Uh, I'm just gonna throw Nightbot into this fight because I'm obviously gonna need the backup. But we'll keep uh, Yoda out of this. So this one is gonna cause some damage. Um, let's go into the doorways. And then where's Plex's? You can stand there. Kelly in there. And then Yoda into the ranch because you are a little Yorkie already missing a tail. You're not going to be able to fight them. And then winner there. Okay, so we're all set up. And poor night bud. Coming to help you, Nightbot, I promise. Nightbot's doing an excellent job, by the way. Surprise, Purda Pirates! Yup. So the Pertus Pirates are evil spirits, so they do not get released. They get executed. I'm going to unrestrict the Mega Sloth uh, just to see how much filth it builds up. Ideally, uh, setting up a, a proper zone for it would be best, but um, I'm just going to see how this works. And then let's go ahead and haul their bodies out to the grenade fields so that we don't have all the um, uh, dead body debuff going on.
And you are just bruised. You're not even bleeding. So, wow. That's awesome. Hey, Plex. I know you're a 15 year old. You're rebellious. You want to burn some bodies for me? It's not exactly safe because it could start a forest fire, but that's kind of what she's all about. But in order to uh, in order to do this task, to my liking, you have to haul these bodies in as well. She's like, "Oh wait, you tricked me. There was there was more." Nightbot's getting the uh, herbal meds. I'm gonna have to grow some herbal meds. So I think Nightbot is using the last of my herbal meds right now. Let me uh, reduce the 10 quality. And uh, I'm just gonna be adding some home zones so we don't actually start a forest fire here. Ash of treasure. Probably don't care. Nope, don't care. All right, so that's the last of the, the bodies. I don't like the rat in my walls. Uh, Plex, back to a proper weapon. And then animals can be Yoda zones. I'm going to keep uh, Nightbot in the Yoda zone until attack and rescue has been finished. Oh, Plex, there's a, there was a lack of fire. Hold on. I'm going to have you burn some more. Spread that holiday warmth. So up here, we're going to have wooden plumbing. Let's just run it along the edge like this. And then this will be plumbed. And uh, what I'm going to do here is have a door. A door there, and it's going to check occupancy. And then I'm going to bind it to a bedroom. As, as I'll, I'll show you when I'm done. Oops, I didn't see you either, Lumi. I think it's a little late. Oh well. I'll get a crematorium eventually. Tis in the works. Yoda in game has no food? Uh, he has 20 meals. I think that's, that's enough. That's a good amount. Yeah, he's zoned to the meals. He's rezoned. A everything's fine. No need to panic. He's getting fed. <laughs> Does Plex have two? No, just one catharsis. That's too bad. It's hoping for the double. All right, Kellyan. I think I'm going to uh, reduce your research. So you can help with the slag and the stuff, harvesting and whatnot. That's probably enough wood for now. Cow is hitched. Um, it's because the fecal sludge is in the way. But cows, um, if you take a look at their needs, they have a lot of food bars. They can store a lot of food, so they don't have to eat very often to stay alive. They're easier to feed as a result. So I fixed it with moving the fecal sludge, so as soon as Omega's up, uh, Omega will move Mac. Done. And I didn't really have to do anything. That's not what I meant to do. So let's get rid of uh, some of these walls. I'm also going to build a roof over the Christmas cr uh, church because I think at some point soon we are going to give, be given the opportunity to do a, um, a Christmas festival as it's almost Decemberary. So I'm also going to put in a steel radiator and I'll put it here 
And that means we're going to need to run our pipes down like this for every bedroom. Hey, Faustupia. Happy New Year to you, too. Cheers. Seems like my meat amount is going down, but there's really not much to hunt. Some dangerous game, but that's about it. So this is the prototype bedroom. It is now plumbed, and I'm going to set it to an occupancy check. And then the other thing I'm going to want to do is to actually put a bed in here. Maybe I'll do double beds. Maybe I'll have everyone have double beds. And that way it's nice and symmetrical. We can add um, dressers if we want. Make it nice. We're also going to want lamps. And this is what uh, everybody's accommodations will be, which is expensive, but, you know, the whole focus of this is the hospitality aspect, so... It works for me. Not, what does not work for me is um, you carrying five wood at a time for an entire, entire day. That's, that's complete and utter nonsense. Do better. Oh, so sludgy. Every time the sludge backs up this door, the cow goes back to being roped. It's not going to be a cold bathroom. I might need to add another vent, but this is an open door which should allow the heat to uh, transfer. And was that a hot shower? Yeah, it was a hot shower. Because we do have a water heater over here, supplying hot water. So what you can do is you can link a bed to the bathroom here. So that it's the owner of the bed who gets to use the bathroom. So that they um, they're, it's not shared, which is nice. And now we get the lights on. But of course I don't have power cables anywhere close. So I'm going to have to run power cables over to it as well. But we're nearly done with um, our first bedroom. We close this here. It should start to warm up. I believe this radiator... Um, here, let's increase the power here. This radiator is um, going to heat the whole room. So now it's 40 Fahrenheit. External temperature is negative 25C, and inside it's uh, 12C. And going up. I like it. So we'll have to do that for every one's, for every bedroom, right? That was sort of the goal. So I'm working on that now. Get the wires in, and then get the plumbing in, and and we'll actually have some comfort. So if we're going with double beds, I'm going to have Winter build these double beds in a minute. Also, I think this uh, cougar probably wants to eat me. There we are. This is what our um, this is what our bedrooms will look like for iteration one. I'll I'll make it nicer uh, when I have the resources to do so later on. And this will go to winner. Actually, knowing winner, winner would want. Wait, how does your ideology forbid you to from what? What kind of ideology says you can't sleep? What is this nonsense? 
Oh, oh, because you can't share a bed with Winter. Yeah, okay, I understand. Um, Plex. All right, Winter, you'll sleep up here for now. So Plex is going to get the good bedroom. She's been having a hard time. Coffee ideology. I could get behind that. Cheers. Okay, the bathroom is um, not frigid cold. It's not super warm, but it's it's comfortable enough, I think. And we'll start uh, we'll start spreading the rooms so that everyone can have these nice accommodations. Another thing that might be wise is for me to get a toque. For anyone that wants them, because I see that I'm constantly cold. I just don't have a lot of cotton. I have uh, some wool, though, so that will be good. I wish I had a good tailor, though. Tailoring is really bad. The starling, you're hunting the wild animal, the manhunter. I'm gonna have Mike help you. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I think you're enjoying this a bit much. So how do you like the uh, the cabin setups? This is 60... You know what? Another thing that we could do to warm it up is let's increase the temperature of the thermostat up to 80 Fahrenheit. And that way the bedroom and the bathrooms will be a little bit warmer. Very cozy. Alright, so there's the toque that uh, Starling should wear before Starling freezes to death. Come on, Starling, darling. No, 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 no. Don't... Where are you going to seek warm... Oh, you were running over to the geothermal, Jenny? Yeah, that's, um... That's ridiculous. So, this bedroom is about, uh... 20 Celsius. The bathroom is 14 C, so it's a little bit colder. Um... We can always tinker with it. Maybe add a vent or something. So next up will be... This one. Christmas party! With presents! Oh look! I got a present! Thanks, Santa! It really pays to be a Santanist. It really does. All right, let's, uh, hey, Winner, you want to open up the present? Yoda, don't, don't chew your paws. He looks so guilty. He's like, I'm sorry. Come on, Winner. Hurry up. What's in the present? Three glass panes. Thank you, Santa. For gifting me some glass. I, I like it. I'll cherish it forever and ever. Thank you for tuning in to Winner's Way Station, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 4th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch one of my live streams, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode, or perhaps an upcoming stream. Farewell, friend.